I had the lovely opportunity to, oh no, dang it. I don't want to deal with this. Um, so I got to FaceTime my mom today and uh, for the very first time because she finally figured out how that works. And she let me know that my hair looks terrible. Thanks, Mother. trying something that I ordered admittedly I probably should have been asleep it was like one of those infomercials at like one or two o'clock in the morning but at the same time was exactly what I was just thinking which is actually probably what I'm supposed to be bad around that time it's called specific beauty can you see it can you see it specific beauty is this um, new kind of skincare line that's specifically for women of color, um, Caribbean, Black, Hispanic, Blasians, to help you even your tone, uh, your skin tone, uh, when you may have had some kind of scarring or blemishes and et cetera, et cetera. Not a huge advocate of makeup, um, not because I don't like makeup, it's more like I just don't know how to put it on and it just takes a lot of time to figure that out and um, I'm not wealthy enough to have somebody do it for me every single day. And I touch my face a lot. This, 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 and then I totally like broke up. Like I think actually you can see a uh, pimple here. Oh, I just sprayed on that. That's disgusting. Don't touch your face. I'm trying this product out. I haven't seen many reviews about it, but I like touching my face. One, I only have like the simple package for a month. When you do things like makeup and, and new, you know, skincare lines or whatnot, you just have to add more time to that. And I really haven't really been the um, best person with changing my morning routine. I can say I'm not an angry waker-upper anymore. Okay, so like 80% of the time I'm not angry when I wake up it just depends because like I wake up and then if people start talking to me or asking me questions it's just like it's too early for it. all of that it's just stop as you can see I haven't really had many breakouts I just really have um blemishes or whatnot from when I had acne and uh, definitely had adult acne I had smooth amazing beautiful skin in high school which I didn't even know was like weird until I broke out with acne and it started here in my forehead um and I thought it was just because the bangs so just grew up my hair and started pulling it back I also played a lot of sports throughout in the sun a lot blah 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 um but then um a few years later I broke out on my cheeks and it was really 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 sad because I didn't know what to do and I thought maybe it's just wash your face more so I tried that went to a dermatologist it went through proactive went through retinol a um, then I found uh, Dr. Mercedes who was great and started talking to me actually about hormone treatments and honestly I was just drinking a lot of milk like I was going through like a gallon a week it, milk is delicious um, I enjoy it but recently cut out dairy altogether um, based on uh, actually I heard it from the Lord and I was like okay why don't you want me to eat dairy like is this some kind of fast for like how long and then I watched um, so-and-so's YouTube video and she was talking about um, how dairy actually made a breakout specifically here in her cheeks and I was like okay I'm gonna try this but then I realized dairy is in everything that I enjoy ice cream cheese pizza, spinach alfredo, barbecue, chicken pizza, spinach dip, manicotti, spinach alfredo pizza, it's cheese, pizza, California pizza kitchen, whoop whoop, so delicious, oh my gosh, tres leches. I did go for like a week without any dairy and then I had one slice of pizza, just the basic cheese pizza, like next day, huge pimples, and totally broke out all over here. And I was like, oh, it's real! I've cut dairy out. I haven't really had breakouts for a very long time. I still have these blemishes. Sort of mustache. Um, 
man. Oh, no, no. And stayed up till two o'clock in the morning doing things I probably shouldn't do, like just staying awake. I don't take after my father. Pacific Beauty infomercial came on and I was like, why not? I have their basic. It comes in a box. Um, says your future just got brighter. I think it's like a euphemism for like your skin getting brighter and all this other stuff. Uh, which is funny because if I show you guys my leg, actually, let's not show you that. There's a morning regiment and then there's an evening regiment. See the moon? Sun is for a day, moon is for a night. First, I need the Cleanse and Prep Daily Gentle Cleanser to use. Gently massage a dime-sized amount of cleanser over damp face using gentle circular motions. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. Sometimes it takes forever to get warm water. Is there anything in here? Oh, I think I took the things out of here. I think it came in here. See, it's just a 30 day. And then you, if you want to do more, they put you on this reoccurring uh, thing where you can, um, you get it's automatically they send you the more the replenish whatever the why is this oh here it is it's warm where are the people filter cleanser can you see can you see it can you see it that's good enough <laughs> listen the one thing i know i cannot do is one of those like face washing uh commercials <coughs> really not funny i don't know this maybe this is why i'm still single I, I hope i take that out of edit that's rude to myself a dime size amount oh shoot really it's fine and gentle circular motion <laughs> Now, I will also say that some of this, especially my breakouts or whatnot, is definitely stress-related. I used to break out an eczema, like right here. This whole area was like black at one point, and I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. It was bad, where like, I was like, there's no recoup, I just have a huge black spot. And Do I just wash this off after me? Rinse with warm water and that's right. Okay! Ugh. Ugh. Repair and Brighten Intensive Skin Brightening Serum To use After cleansing, apply a thin layer of serum to face, avoiding the eye area. Allow a few moments for absorption. Step two. These are numbered because um, I know that some of these things are simple enough that you should be able to get it, uh, but I don't. I just don't. Like, and also things like I would lose this. Like normally, I don't even know how I still have this. Oh, that's kind of yellow, and not much is coming out. Can you see? I don't mean to flick you guys off, but it looks like snot. I'll do one of those. That's what YouTube people do, right? No, that looks even worse. My finger's starting to hurt. Okay. Thin layer serum to face, avoiding eye area. Allow a few moments for absorption. I like to dab first. And then I just rub it in. I just rub it in. Smells kind of like plastic. Like maybe melted plastic. No, it's not like melted plastic. It just smells bad. It smells like you're just putting product on your face, you know? Numero tres! Nourish and replenish. Oh, sorry, no. I <laughs> Nourish and protect. Uh, active Radiance Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30 to use. Apply liberally to face, neck, and chest. Maybe worn alone or under makeup. Thank you for defining that because in the past I have had no idea if I was okay to put makeup on on top of this, if I was supposed to put it on after the makeup. I do know that that technically doesn't make sense. Active Radiance Day. The Lighten and Brighten Eye Cream is only included in Deluxe Collections, which is not the collection I'm currently having. I'm also glad that they did provide an SPF, um, just specifically because 
this that is for you know women of color i never really know what kind of uh sunblock to get or to wear and i know i need sunblock like back in the day i was playing like six hours a day in the sun like soccer or tennis i could put on any of these other ones banana boat or hawaiian tropical with a koala whatever and the one with the white baby's butt showing um but i i just i was like if i put oh dang it if i put this on am i gonna end up breaking out and oftentimes when you do put it on for all of those of you who are brown skin we end up looking like pale like walking dead zombies and we're, it's not attractive to like be on the beach like hey um i'm having so much fun and there's like white cream dripping on your face and making your skin look gray like your skin ends up really like looking gray that's not cute. Probably bite a little bit too much of my nose. That actually doesn't smell horrible. Like it smells like typical um, SPF, but not with that strong smell. It's like, I'm going. Yes, I am going to do something with my hair. Mom. It's actually not that bad. It's just I went to go work out. It was very nice and curly, and then I, I went to go work out, so I put it in this puff. I look like a, um, I love this guy, Don King, I guess, but I think of um, Albert Einstein, the black Albert Einstein. <laughs> yeah. I would rock it. I would probably rock it, not just because um, I think I'm that cool, it's actually be because it's a cry for help. This is a comb. What is it? Ow. See? Ow. Ow. Look. Look. I don't think you're looking. Look at this. This is not helping. Like, this is not, not doing anything. And so I'm, I just, I claim it. This is my hair, guys. Um, I don't have an issue with it. People are like, you need to comb that, Lisa. You need to brush that. You need to, like, pin it up something and I'm just like I give you permission to pin it up for me this is how I'm rocking <laughs>